Hi all of you, welcome all of you on your PD education and uh, there is a timetable now for engineering services uh, uh, preliminary. So as we were uh, fearing that uh, engineering services may be postponed or something because of COVID peak which was hitting in May. So it is not that way they have given the timetable that means exam will be conducted on 18th July only and maybe all of you are aware about the timings. Uh, it is on the website of UPSC. You can check it out paper one paper two. Now uh, see many of you are uh, preparing those of you who are preparing for engineering services. I would like to tell very briefly uh, that last year also uh, you must have seen some interviews of uh, selected candidates. There's a mindset which is required just before exam and that mindset uh, should be such that you should not bother about number of seats in a particular exam. If you have filled the form and if you're going to the examination hall go with full preparation. Don't bother about the number of seats. Just think in a way that uh, even if there are uh, less seats but I'm to get only one seat and I'm, I'm to give my best. So the students who have got selected last year also they were largely the students who kept on preparing with the positivity and with optimism without uh, getting bothered about reduction in the number of seats. Railway seats going out they did not bother about that and kept on preparing. Last one month is very very crucial for this exam and uh, I want to tell you like uh, uh, for paper one uh, if I tell you there are lot many videos and question uh, classes question basically lectures available on your PD education this very channel. So if you put engineering services exam preliminary paper one you will get lot of uh, uh, videos related to different domains like values and ethics project management environment ICT and current issues also we have put just go through those videos if you have not done and uh, you know paper one may there is no need to worry because there is a mathematics there is a quant also you should try to uh, give your best and majority of the questions asked are common sense based questions also like if you have some idea about uh, these topics you can hit by elimination or something like that don't fear paper one need not to fear paper one but yes you should uh, go through the terminologies of the uh, topics like in if I talk about uh, project management you should know what is a project what are the phases of project management work down work break work break structure work packages so you should know these terminologies so that if some question is asked on the basis of that common sense you answer it so uh, last one month very very crucial all the very best to all of you and on your PDA I will come out with some crux kind of videos from where I expect questions in paper one. So I will have some videos on paper one. Maybe you can go through that along with already a uh, lot many such videos on paper one in this very channel. I'll come with some uh, uh, more lectures. Just go through these uh, uh, fix up some time two to three hours every day for last one month this particular month uh, for paper one and paper two obviously technically you are preparing all the very best to all of you and uh, give this paper with full positivity and optimism. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.